Well, hello everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Kiki and today I will be doing a half up half down style using some clippings that I have so if you're interested in seeing that stay tuned all right guys so I know I have on a wig but I just literally threw this on for the previous video but I have some clippings from Lumiere hair um i think the texture is like kinky curly i forget something like that but it's a nice like 4b ish 4c curl pattern it comes in eight pieces i only have seven i don't know what the eighth one went but it's fine so we gonna go ahead and get into this i have two pieces with one clip. I have two, three pieces with two clips. I do not have enough room for this. I have one piece with three clips. Then I have one piece with four clips and one with five clips. So what I want to do because there's that, let me see. Because, because my makeup doesn't come all the way on my forehead and I don't like that look. Here we are. At least my foundation color has to be all the way up here. Anyway, I have these braids in the front just to because I washed my hair yesterday and I wanted just to keep it nice and like stretched, not tangled. Then I have, let me see. I have a braid right here. This is for my leave out. And then this is braided down because I'm going to clip over this. So, what I'm going to do. What I would like to do, because I actually want to do like a zigzag part and do two of the, like do two buns, and then just have it out in the back. So what I'm going to try to do is to keep the one with the, I don't think the five is actually going to fit. I'm going to try though. So I'm going to try to keep the one with the four and the one with the three because they're closer in size. Or, actually, what I'm going to, mm, no. So, like I said, I'm going to try to keep the one with the three and then the one with the four. And I'm going to work from the top to the bottom. I do not have a mirror set up over here. I should, but it's okay. Because I believe I can make this work without one. So, here we go. I ain't gotta do with the clips like we used to have the clips back in the day that you just kind of push on like that's it so that's it I'm starting from the top and try to measure out around so what you wear so what I'm gonna do I feel like this would be right and it's not really tight Clipping at the scalp. Okay. So I'm going to go in with these ones that have two. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I still actually have to separate hair and then take out my leave out. I'm gonna leave in this part for my leave out and go ahead and work on the front. I'll have the details of the hair in the description box. Let me see, what did I do to it? I sprayed it with some water and I just put some um, leave in on it. And then I brushed it out. That's all I did. So y'all can tell I don't have this to the scalp. But I didn't want it to the scalp because I don't want the tension. But to do this, I don't need the clips to be coming out. Let's see. Because I don't have a red tail comb. I'm going to make do with what I have. I'm gonna clip one side away, and all I'm gonna do is take some water in a spray bottle and my Eco Styler gel to make these bones. Alright, I got my baby buns in. I did leave out my little curly pieces. And then I'm gonna take one of my clip ends. This is the one with four. I'm just gonna clip it in my hair around. Let me see. If I can show you what I'm talking about. So I got that open. I'm just gonna take it in the hair, it's not in the scalp or on the scalp, so there's no tension. Let's see. I normally would only clip like two of them. I went ahead and clip them all. With the three. That was fuller, y'all. <laughs> Why do I feel like Shanae? Like, I, I. <laughs> don't judge me, but that's what I feel like with my hair like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna leave out a little bit like that. Let me see. I'm not gonna take this. I'm gonna bring it around this way. I guess leave you back there. Just gonna bring it around. I'm cover up as much of my hair as possible. It's gonna blend pretty well anyway. And since I have this like that, I'm just gonna bring that on around. There's too much of that left out, so I don't have to use any clips. I'm 
spoons a tad bigger, but it's okay. Now, I'm going to take my leave out for the middle part. So before I finish taking out that, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take these two clips with the one piece and put them in these braids closer to my leave out, just so the braids aren't showing. Separate that really quickly because that braid already is the perfect blend for this hair. Just need you to do that. That blends so perfect. I know that color may not, but it blends so perfectly. So I'm just going to lay it out flat like that. And I feel like I left out enough hair. So that was division. That was it. But I'm gonna take some edge control. I'm using my bundles by Monet Edge Tamer. Local business here in Greensboro, but this is the only edge control that works and I'll lay my edges for literally about 24 hours. But I'm just gonna do a little swoop. Nothing crazy, just some swoop. Just some sweeps. And that's it. This is the look. I'm going to show you guys the back. So, far enough. Seven clips. But yeah, that actually blends so perfect as a braid out. I think I tried it. It's like a wash and go, but my hair was out for the most part. And it just did not work. But this worked out so perfectly. This was the vision. The vision has been fulfilled. So, if you guys like this video, you already know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know anything you want to see next. I think I'm going to do clip greens again, but I'm going to do it with more leave out. I'm going to try that again since I see now that the braid out works. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.